This year is really exciting for Dolby at CES. There's a tremendous amount of momentum with our partner announcements, but it's really about mainstream experiences. And what that means is that Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos are available at more affordable price points than they ever have been. And all of that is going to create an incredible 2018 for consumers to get these incredibly immersive entertainment experiences wherever they might be, whether that's in the cinema, in the living room, or on the go with their mobile devices. So there's a few different announcements that our partners have made here at CES that we're really excited about. One is Lenovo introducing the world's first Dolby Vision PC. And what's really exciting about that device is that it has an incredibly bright 500-nit display. It supports the full Adobe RGB color spectrum. And when you bring Dolby Vision into that, you're delivering content that has deeper blacks, brighter whites, incredible levels of contrast, and is really an experience that's never been seen before on a PC screen. Sony also introduced a Dolby Vision TV as well as a Dolby Atmos soundbar. And what's great is that when you combine that with their 4K UHD Blu-ray player and their content like Spider-Man Homecoming that's in both Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos, you're really getting that end-to-end -end Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos ecosystem in your living room, all through Sony products. One of the other areas that we're showcasing here at the Dolby booth is our TV momentum for Dolby Vision. So more TV OEMs are announcing support for Dolby Vision across their TV ranges. In Europe, Vestal has announced support in China, TCL and Skyworth, and we're also showcasing Vizio's continued support. Of course, when you've got these devices in your living room now, you're going to need content. And the great thing is that there's strong support from all of the major studios, as well as major content streaming services. So Netflix is delivering content in Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision iTunes has more than 200 titles in the iTunes store that support Dolby Vision. And around the world, content services like Tencent, Maxdome, Rakuten, all of those are streaming Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision, not just to the living room, but to mobile devices as well. So Dolby has a lot of momentum coming into CES 2018, and we're really excited about some of the announcements. It's all about mainstream experiences. Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision are really becoming more affordable. We've got partners that are announcing Dolby Vision TVs that cost less than $600. We've got partners that are announcing Dolby Atmos soundbars that are less than $600. We're bringing Dolby Vision to the PC, and all of that is gonna create an incredible 2018 for Dolby, our partners, but most importantly for consumers to get these incredibly immersive entertainment experiences wherever they might be.